The DRDO chief has said that the real activity of AMCA prototype realization would begin after final approval of the Cabinet Committee on Security headed by PM Modi. He also said that the AMCA program will be undertaken through special purpose vehicle involving Indian industries in a big way, and they will be involved in the prototype development, series production and also in providing lifetime cycle support to the Indian Air Force. The special purpose vehicle will be announced by end of this year, and the AMCA project will have 75% government funding, and the rest 25% cost will be borne by Indian private sector companies that are part of the special purpose vehicle. India's export of the Pinnacle multi-barrel rocket launchers to Armenia will see the Indian private sector companies such as Larsen and Tubro Tata Defence and Economic Explosives Limited leading from the front that have established production facilities and supply chains for quick deliveries. Armenia has placed orders for undisclosed numbers of ATGMs and for Pinnacle batteries. Armenia will also get the Pinnacle extended range rockets as well as Pinnacle guided rockets in the near future. Egypt which is in discussions to procure 70 Tejas aircraft from India, has now approached the Indian Air Force for spares for its 44 MiG-29 fighter jets and 60 Mi-17 helicopter fleet, due to the disruption of the Russian supply chain, and Egypt cannot deal with Russian companies directly due to fear of American sanctions. India manufactures most of its spares for its MiG-29 new PG fleet and its Mi-17 helicopters and Egypt has sought spares for Russian RD-33 Series 3 engines that powers its MiG-29 fighter jets, which are locally manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The Indian Army has released a request for information for autonomous surveillance and armed drone swarms with 50% minimum indigenous content, which are expected to cost around 700 crore rupees, and will be procured through the by Indian category. Each swarm set would comprise of 50 to 75 aerial vehicles featuring artificial intelligence and with armed payloads, that could take off and land vertically, and can interact both with control towers and other swarm members. Out of 12 swarm sets, the deployment of 7 swarm sets is intended for high-altitude borders, while remaining 5 swarm sets will be used in plains and desert area. The Indian Army has formally inducted the first indigenous light combat helicopter that was received by Director General Army Aviation. The Army Aviation will receive the second LCH in October. The Army raised its first LCH squadron on 1st June in Bengaluru that will move to the Eastern Command along the line of actual control on completion in 2023. The Army plans to acquire 95 more units of which 70 units will be deployed for combat role in mountains. The central government has appointed the former Air Chief Marshal RKS Badaria as the Chief Nodal Officer of the UP Defence Industrial Corridor. His involvement will act as a catalyst for the development of the UP Defence Industrial Corridor, under which manufacturing centre for Brahmo's NG AK-203 rifles and several high-tech weapon systems will be undertaken, as he is known for his immense focus on supporting the indigenous defence industry. Godrej has showcased a man portable anti-drone system at the Police Expo 2022, which it has license built from French firm Serbair. The Chimera 100 counter drone gun has a special antenna that is carried as a backpack, that can track rogue drone and jam its radio frequency, after which the enemy drone will fall to the ground. For the first time since their acquisition, Pakistan has displayed its Bayraktar TB2 drone during an Air Force exercise on 28 September. Pakistan has not disclosed the number of units delivered by Turkey, but it is believed that it has received six units that have now achieved operational combat capability. 
at the upcoming Defense Expo 2022, Bharat Dynamics will display the Gridbot's Titan unmanned multi-utility combat vehicle mounted with the Amog-3 anti-tank guided missile, that features dual-mode imaging infrared seeker, and has the capability of both top attack mode and direct attack mode with a strike range of 2.5 kilometers.